Welcome back. We're here with Chef Shannon Mills from Tommy Bahama Restaurant and Bar, and we've got meat and veggies, and it smells so good in so here. So good. Yeah, you know, typically when you think of Tommy Bahama, you think of seafood. Right. But we got some really good grill options. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do our Kona crusted ribeye. Okay. So if you want to make our crust, you can start with, that's paprika. paprika. So that gives okay. us two tablespoons. And I am dumping everything. You are. And that, that gives it a good smoky flavor. Black pepper, cumin, salt, kosher salt. We always use kosher salt. And we use a macadamia infused. Uh, Get a, what is that one here? Macadamia okay. infused Kona coffee. Oh. And that, you can put as much as you want as cayenne pepper, so okay. however spicy you want. So if you can just stir it around, yep, and you're going to crush the ribeye on both sides. You want to make sure you get the ribeye to a room temperature before you put it on the grill. All that right, gives Kelly, it, I'll let you do that. Yep. All right. How long does it take to get it on a, uh, to get it room temperature? To get it to room temp, you can put it out for about an hour. Do I press this in? Or no, nope, you can just lightly crust it and, and then flip it I'll with your that. tongs. I'll press it flip with it. With, you can oh, okay. flip There you it. go. Oh, yeah, you're and then you can <laughs> crust the other side. So if you let it come up to room temperature, it gives it a better even wow, cooking amazing. when you put it on the on the grill. Oh, if I oh, let that it set out an hour, That's I'm right. throwing it away. No. All right, and then so that. we just put this so on the So we're going to put like this that? right here on the grill. We don't have a grill in studio, we so we have a grill pan. On there, right? there you go. So at the restaurant, we do steak and veggies grilled. We do a grilled artichoke at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the tricks, people are not always sure how to eat the artichoke. But if you look on the leaf, you oh, can wow. pick the leaves off. The bottom. Look how at the easy bottom. that was. Yep, it just comes right off. Yeah. So yeah. we steam it for about an hour, hour and a half, and then you eat the bottom half right there. Just the bottom half. Just the teeth. bottom half. Yep. You'll pick I it up. You can try known. it and eat it. Here, I want to try. Yeah. The bottom. So what happens if you Stephanie, eat the top half? You, like one? you no, can't I'm eat okay. it. It's too fibrous. <laughs> You're a coward. Oh, oh, yeah. You tell me about it. Yeah. There you go. Mine fell. No. Here, one other piece. It's good. So yeah, so the, the Very good. This, this is, is a good. pretty unique dish that, you know, not a lot of people are doing around town. Absolutely. And we marinate it in an herbe de Provence vinaigrette with grana padano, which is um, close to a Parmesan cheese, so it's a really hard cheese. So that we tastes good. Yeah. So we grill the ribeye, that Kona coffee, you can smell the macadamia nuts. Oh, in look the at those air. sear marks. Mm. That's amazing on yeah, the inside. You get a good yeah. sear. Yeah. It smells like really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also do a cauliflower steak. So it's a play on a steak. We, we take a cauliflower and we cut it into so about an inch. See it. Look at that. Oh. We marinate it in milk because cauliflower is really dry. In milk. So we want to give it some moisture. We marinate it in milk for about thing. two hours. And Maybe then we just put it right on the grill. You may have to pick that up. That's a really good grilling idea. Great grilling idea, and the macronutrients are very good in the cauliflower. Really? Yes, yeah. you can eat Thank lots you. of cauliflower. That's a great idea to slice it like oh, a steak. Oh, it's so good. It's really thick and it holds itself. And then we did some other fun stuff, grilled vegetables. Mm. Um, I asked earlier if you guys have ever seen a grilled avocado. Yeah. So avocado's got a lot of fat in it. You. And it is, uh, when you just throw it on the grill, no seasoning. When it comes off, a little bit of lemon, salt, and pepper, it's good to go. That's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. It is. It's a really good grilling idea. So all these grilled vegetables can either be done on your outside grill or in a grill pan oh. inside? Inside, that's right. How long are you cooking the steak on each side? So the steak, I'll probably cook it anywhere, depending on what temperature. Usually I like a mid-rare, so okay. I'm about good. two to three minutes okay. on each side. Okay. Oh, and you know you can't always finish it here. The steak. This is a really thick steak. Do you cover it and let it sit? That's what my husband I never cover it. I never cover it. No, we no. don't cover it. I let okay. it open air. Open air. And then do you, you finish it in, it in the oven? You can finish it in the oven, depending on how thick your steak is. What temperature would that be? Medium well or up. Uh, medium well, well. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. That sounds great. Thank a special know. Father's Day menu from Chef Shan at Tommy Bahamal. You'll want to go Charlie. visit him. And I think I spy some key lime I down there. Is that yeah. a key lime tart? That is a key yeah. lime pie, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That looks absolutely amazing. So a great idea for Dad. Thank you, Chef Shannon. We love the grilled veggies, too. Kelly, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. I'm going to enjoy this food before I, like I go back. This. Yeah. <laughs> so, some really? healthy eating tips yeah. that we taught Linda all about artichokes. And That's so, right. I like I'm that. eating the right end. You're eating yeah, the right end. She's, she's, she's eating the right end. Right <laughs> all right, everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to take some time Bye. and enjoy the Sun Coast view. Bye. My little pile.